How to host a successful business conference. Hosting an important business conference can be a stressful experience, but it can also be energizing and an excellent way to advance your career. The good news is, most anyone can learn how to organize a successful conference. Although there are a long list of details to go over and preparations to make, the planning of the conference is the single biggest factor in determining its success or failure. Making initial preparations. Identify the audience. You need to have a clear idea of who you want to attend your conference before you start planning it. If it is too narrow an audience, you won't find a market for the conference. If it is too broad, you run the risk of a bland theme that will not hold your attendees' interest. Think about the demographic qualities of your attendees, including age, income level, and location. Will attendees be from same organization or industry? Will they be executives, middle management, employees, or a mix? You cannot make proper plans if you do not know whom you are addressing or hoping to attract. wh.performance.mark step 1 underscore rendered. Determine the format of your conference. After you know who you are planning your conference for, you'll need to figure out how the conference will be set up. Will it be primarily speaking presentations, panels, interactive presentations, or a mix of those? Think about how many speakers or presenters you will have and how long presentations will be. These decisions should be tailored to the subject matter and to your audience. Consider the theme. The theme will influence everything else, so you want to decide this issue first. Why would they want to come? Conferences are time-consuming and expensive for attendees as well as hosts. There needs to be something you are offering at your conference that no one can get anywhere else. Make your theme as specific as possible. The theme can be subject-oriented or aimed at a demographic target. For instance, the Asian American Law Enforcement Offices Conference is a demographic target, while marketing manuscripts to independent publishers is a subject-oriented theme. For another example, the theme Awakening the Autism Entrepreneur Workshop tells a potential attendee everything they need to know about the conference. Define the scope of the conference. The scope of your conference will determine all of your logistical concerns, your choice of speakers, and even the location. Be realistic about the scope. You want it to be as narrow as possible while still having a robust market. Think about the location of the target audience. If you have a possible market of 1,000, but they're spread out on three continents, you're going to struggle to get attendees. How many would you like to attend? If this is your first conference, don't try to plan a conference larger than 300 to 400 people. The learning curve is too steep. Consider the geographical location of the probable attendees. Are they local, regional, or national? Consider and plan for possible transportation types used by attendees. Will conference be single session, multiple sessions in a single day, or multiple days with overnight stays? Create a project team. Unless the event is local and limited to a few attendees, the person in change will need help. Build a project team with at least one member assigned to each area of conference planning. The areas to be considered are the agenda, speakers, logistics, budgets, accommodations, refreshments, marketing, and public relations. There may be other areas specific to your conference as well. While some items can be combined, a planning team usually consists of three to five people with additional staff as required by the scope of conference. Develop a budget. Develop a budget and stick to it. Decide whether the goal is to break even or produce a profit, and then if there is a specific revenue target. Include elements of costs and revenues, attendance sales, underwriting guarantees, etc. with a specific person on your project team being responsible for purchasing and contracting to avoid confusion. You will need to consider several factors, including vendors, such as AV providers, hotels, convention centers, caterers, convention bureaus, transportation providers, and travel agencies. Get quotes from vendors in writing. 3. Costs of speakers, including fees and expenses. Costs for marketing and website development. 4. Fees for event planners. 5. 